So today we are sharing with you 10 spring essentials that every woman needs to have in her wardrobe. So we put a list together of all the things that we have been picking up for this season that we really think are gonna help you create the perfect spring wardrobe, especially if you're someone who loves like a capsule wardrobe, you're gonna love this. So stay tuned, we've got so much good stuff to share with you. During the spring, we have lots of beautiful pastels, we have florals. There's also lots of great spring feminine dresses. And one of my favorite shoes that I really think that every woman should own is a great pair of either neutral or light tan wedges. So wedges are amazing. They really are going to just sculpt your calf and your leg, really helping to give it a very shapely look. It also will help to elongate your legs. And when you pick it in a neutral or light tan color, it just really helps helps to just create that like barely there kind of look while doing all the work for you and really just elongating those legs. And you can really style them with so many different things. So whether that's a mini, midi, or maxi spring dress, you can also style them with a great linen pant. I love wearing them with a light wash jean or even a white jean. You can also style them with a great like chino short. So they are a versatile shoe. One of the things too is that when you also are going out maybe on a date night instead of wearing a standard like you know block heel or stiletto heel a wedge is a great shoe to wear because it will give you that height and also the wedge provides so much support that structure really will help to keep you balanced when you are walking and I love taking wedges with me especially when I'm on vacation so if you are also looking for a great shoe to wear during the spring and even during the summer, you can also get these wedges in a straw or rattan type of material. I feel like whenever I see this fabric being used for uh, wedges, it always gives me those like great vacation vibes. So it's absolutely a must have spring shoe. The next category for our spring essentials list is one of my personal favorites that I have really been embracing this season, and that is white dresses. I love white dresses for spring and summer, and there are so many good ones out there this year that I have just been loading up on them, ladies. So whether you're going for a mini, a midi, or a maxi, a white dress is just something that is essentially spring. It's just perfect for this time of year. Some of my favorites are in like cotton or linen fabrics or a blend, something that's very like lightweight, easy to wear, comfortable. I love them in all of the lengths and they really are something that pairs really well with those wedges that Christina was just talking about. You can have them in a very casual style, wearing them with maybe a flat sandal or even a sneaker, and you can have them a bit more elevated, wearing them with those wedges or even a block heel. I love to style them with a beautiful straw bag or add a little bit of cognac or even a pop of color with maybe some pink, but white dresses are just classic and beautiful. They're always gonna be on trend. They're always gonna be in style. White is not only a popular color for dresses, but also for jeans. I tell you ladies, picking up a good pair of white jeans for the spring really is essential. So this can be everything from a slim straight, you could go with a traditional straight leg jean, you could go with something like a boot cut or a flare. You could even do a wide leg if you wanted something that had a little bit more volume. So white jeans really are just a great, great jean to have during the spring because you're going to have so many beautiful tops to go with them. Whether those are more feminine tops like a floral top, whether you want to also need a great jean if you are going out on a date night, a great off the shoulder really looks good with a white jean. And the other thing too is that you're going to have an endless number of choices with shoes. So you could style them with everything from sandals to flats. If you wanted to go with something a little more casual, you could style them with a great sneaker. And of course, those wedges that we recommended as our first spring essential are absolutely wonderful with a great white jean. 
Okay, so before moving on to the next spring essential, I wanted to share with you what I have on today because I think it's actually another great spring essential, which is a simple little top in a nice pastel color. So this one is in this beautiful baby blue, which is one of my favorites. It has a very subtle little flutter sleeve detail and a little bit of ribbing. It's kind of like a casual t-shirt top. So I love this one. I wanted to make sure I shared it. And for my jewelry today, I've got some teardrop earrings in as well as a nice chunky coiled ring. I'm wearing my Tory Burch two-toned watch that I love and a cute little puff mariner link bracelet. So lots of great essential pieces. And now moving in to the next spring essential. So this one is another great one that you definitely want to have in your spring wardrobe. It's been really trending lately and that is two-piece sets. So these two-piece sets could be anything from sets that are sold together or even individual pieces that are paired together because they are you know monochromatic and kind of made to be worn as a set so I have picked up quite a few this season and what I like about some of these is that they can be worn casually or a little bit more dressed up they're a one-and-done outfit so there's really no thinking that is involved when you're pairing these together because they're just already meant to be worn together and some of them can give you the look of like a jumpsuit or a romper when you tuck in the shirt and they're just really cute. So I found one that was more of a tank top style with some flowy pants. I've got another with like some short sleeves and pants. I have a short set one. I think there's even a vest. I mean, I have really been embracing this trend and it's a trend that I'm seeing all around. So I don't think it's going anywhere. If you haven't tried a two piece set, definitely check them out. There's lots of good ones. And a lot of these are very, very budget friendly. So a fun trend to get on and definitely a spring essential. Every spring there is an explosion of florals, whether that's in a beautiful floral top or in a floral dress. And it's because women love that girly and feminine vibe. And so every single spring, we just see so many of these florals. So we may notice that there are some trends in regards to maybe the size of the floral, or there might even be some trends leading to certain colors of florals that are more popular one year over the other. But absolutely needing a floral top and a floral dress is an absolute must. So whether you have a floral button up shirt that's in a cotton or a silky kind of fabric, you could have a floral off the shoulder shirt. You may even find that you just want a great uh, cotton tee that has some floral prints on it if you have a more casual lifestyle. And you're also going to find that you're going to need a floral dress. So you might be someone who loves those like cotton um, mini or midi floral dresses and you like to style them with a great casual sneaker or you might have an elevated event like a baby shower or a wedding or maybe a ladies luncheon and you need a floral dress in an elevated like fabric in order to just you know kind of like bring in and celebrate that spring season and the great thing is you're going to have so many different choices so they might have an asymmetrical hem you might also have some that have more of a belting detail in order to define the waist. They also have lots of different choices for necklines. All of them are beautiful, but they are absolutely a must for spring. This next category is definitely a favorite of mine, and that is straw handbags. So over the years, Christina and I have really been collecting some different straw handbags because every spring, that's what we really find ourselves reaching for, and we carry them all the way through summer as well. And we have found some really good ones, everything from very budget friendly to this year, I actually did invest in a luxury um, I don't know if it's really straw, but you know, the straw like that raffia style handbag. And I also have a great look for less to share with you as well. So whether you are going for more of like a beach tote style because you want to carry it when you need your towel and all the things, we've got some great options. Those are wonderful. Or if you want to carry it as like your everyday bag. So we have one that we love that's like a tote style. That's a bag that I really enjoy carrying when I want to be like very casual. So maybe I have on 
on, you know, a little sundress with some flip flops or something and a great straw tote, I think really pulls the look together. And we also love to have like a little straw crossbody. So there's just so much good variety. There's also some great ones out there with embellishments. So everything from some like ribbon fabric, maybe in black or white or a color to pearl embellished details. One of my favorites that I recently found, you guys have been loving. It's a little basket style tote with some pearl embellishments. That one was out of stock, but I'm gonna look really hard to see if I can find it for you or at least something very similar because I know you guys love those little pearl embellishments just like I do, but I think a straw bag, no matter what style you prefer, is really just a perfect spring essential. It really just gives that spring and summer vibe to a look. It pairs fantastic with those sundresses, those white jeans, those sandals, and those wedge shoes. It's just... So this is a perfect bag for spring. So if I was to buy any bag for this time of year, I would definitely make it a straw bag. During the spring, a short that you absolutely are going to need in your closet is a good chino short. So chino is a durable cotton fabric that's very breathable, really honestly like a perfect short that you can wear not only during the spring, but also during the summer. So because of the material that it's made out of, it really provides just a very overall polished look. Now, don't get me wrong, Kelly and I, we do love our denim denim shorts. However, there are times and occasions where a denim short is just not appropriate. We also do love our linen shorts and they are also just as breathable. However, we do know that they are notorious for, you know, wrinkling very easily. So if you want something that's a little less high maintenance than a linen short, but gives that elevated look, a chino one is fantastic. And you can pick them up in colors like a great, like white or a beige kind of of color that I love personally for myself. I love getting chino shorts in a great navy color. I personally recently picked up a couple. I want to say they have a three or four inch inseam. For me, that really is the perfect length that I think flatters my legs. However, I know that for some of you, you guys actually prefer um, shorts that are a little bit longer. So I will make sure to link some longer length options for you ladies down below. Moving on to another spring essential that I have frankly been a little bit obsessed with this season and that is raffia sandals. So raffia is like that straw type of material that's so popular this time of year and this year they've really been going all out with the sandal options in this fabric. So of course if you love the bags it only makes sense that you're going to love the sandals. It's a really easy way to kind of tie them into a very simple outfit and really just give it such a spring beautiful look look and style to it. So I have found some that I really love this season. I had one that was a Walmart pair that's beautiful with a little like faux tortoise buckle, super affordable. I think these are great, especially if you're pairing them with something like a brown or black. They really look fantastic with that buckle detail. Another pair I picked up has some little mini pearl details on it that looks gorgeous when you're wearing a white dress or some white jeans. I even have some block heels styled, some without any embellishments, but there are just so many good ones out there. And I really find myself reaching for these on repeat. One of my new current favorite pairs actually have some cognac color leather trim around them, which really ties in beautifully with one of those straw bags that I shared with you. So you put these kind of details with something simple like one of those white dresses or maybe some white jeans with a simple solid colored top and just adding those little elements, you will see how it really creates just a very elevated look, a really beautiful outfit. And all of a sudden something that was so so plain and simple, you're now getting so many compliments because sometimes it's really the details that make the outfit. As a matter of fact, more often than not, it really is in the details. So paying attention to these little accessories will really elevate your outfits for spring and summer. And I think this is just such an easy way to do it.
With the weather not always being super predictable during the spring, a top I really think is a great one that every woman should have in their wardrobe is a short sleeve sweater. So obviously with the sweater, you're just gonna get a lot more warmth than you really would from something like a tee or a very like lightweight kind of blouse. And you're also going to find that with these sweaters, you'll see lots of different, you know, cute details. So that could be everything from a puff sleeve. You might even have a V neckline versus a scoop neckline. You might also have some that are a little bit more fitted to the body, really showing off those curves. I think one of my favorite things about short sleeve spring sweaters is I love these lighter, like softer pastel colors, but I'm also someone who absolutely appreciates some of those vibrant, saturated colors as well. Well, and I find that the selection is always just so vast with these short sleeve sweaters. So the top that I'm wearing today is one of my absolute favorite. I picked it up last spring. I also picked it up in several different colors in the fall and then of course picked it up in some additional colors this spring as well. So this is in a beautiful yellow color. It has a puff sleeve to it and I also just styled it with some of my favorite jewelry pieces. Is. So this is a chunky hoop earring. This is an easy earring to wear along with this butterfly ring. This is one that I've been sharing with you guys so much. Really love it every spring along with this cable wire bracelet and also this traditional chain link bracelet. So these are just some pieces that I find are a breeze to style during spring. So this next spring essential is pretty much a year round essential for most of us, but particularly when the weather warms up, the sun is shining bright, what you're really gonna need is a great pair of sunglasses. So of course, there is such a great variety of sunglasses out there, everything from designers to very budget friendly options. And sunglasses I find are very personal. You really you know, need to find the pair that really suits you best. Now for me, this is kind of challenging. I'm not really a sunglass girl as far as a lot of variety I find that a lot of them are not super flattering on my features so when I find something I like I tend to stick with it but I wanted to share some options with you because I really have found some budget friendly ones that I have been purchasing time and time again and they're just very classic so if you are someone who is looking for a classic sunglass and you don't want to invest a lot this first Amazon pair I'm going to share with you I think is fantastic so this is an aviator style. I feel like aviators are pretty universal. They work for most women. And this one looks the most like Ray-Bans that I've ever seen but I actually prefer these to my Ray-Bans and the reason for that is that they're only just under like I want to say $15, around $12 and change. They come in a variety of colors. They are very good quality and I don't have to worry about them. If I throw them into a purse, if I leave a pair in a car, I now have several pairs because I like to leave one in my husband's car, one in my car, one in my purse, and then I always have them with me. But the reason sunglasses are so good, besides the fact that we need that sun protection because otherwise we start squinting and that causes wrinkling, it's just not good for you, but also because because when I'm traveling, taking a lot of pictures and A, the sun's in my eyes a lot and then I'm squinting, but also just makes you feel better in your pictures. I mean, there is no better anti-aging trick than to throw on a pair of sunglasses. So definitely something that I embrace. Most of my family photos on vacation, I've got sunglasses on because after a day full of touring around and doing all the things, I'm not always looking my best, but those sunglasses, they, they do a lot of work for you. So I've got a great pair of aviators from Amazon I'll share with you. Also, I have have another pair that's more of like a um, faux tortoise shell type of style, also really good and budget friendly. And I will link my favorite pair of Ray-Bans just in case you are someone who really likes those luxury sunglasses. But sunglasses are definitely a spring essential. Okay, ladies, we hope you enjoyed this one and found some great inspiration for your spring wardrobe. And as always, anything that is still available will be linked down below in the description box, as well as pinned to the first comment. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make sure you do that. So we will catch you in the next video.